Go back to 2010. Did you see this coming? Was this sort of in the back of your mind that some sort of closer relationship between CVS and Aetna might be in your future? Well, I think when we made the decision to partner with CVS, Aetna was really focused on the pharmacy benefits business. We had our own PBM, and we concluded that as large as we were at that time, we didn't have the scale that we needed. We looked at uh, CVS, we looked at Medco, we looked at Express Scripts, and we ultimately selected CVS to partner with because we felt they had a more healthcare oriented focus, not just in the Caremark part of the business, but also in the CVS component of the business. So I think the foundation was laid, but I honestly can't say that uh, I saw this level of transformation occurring at this pace. Did you always think that there would have to be an acquisition rather than you just developing on your own sort of local clinics or being in business with doctors, maybe buying some doctor's practices? Well, I think when you look at health care, you have to focus on where we spend most of our money, and that's in chronic care. We spend about 80% of our health care dollars there. And I think when you look at how health care is local and how there's an opportunity to support what the patient's primary care physician is doing, the pharmacy and the local community CVS kind of clinic represents one really important gap that needs to be filled, particularly because the macro trend is things moving from institutions into outpatient, into the physician's clinic, and into the home. And close to the home is always a CVS pharmacy. Uh, Ron, you mentioned that you didn't expect this transformation to happen that quickly, but when the word Amazon gets uttered in an industry whatsoever, the industry transforms very rapidly. What does it look like in five years? Well, you know, I think a couple of points I would make. One is that healthcare is an area that, that, that moves very slowly and then, and then all of a sudden moves quickly. And I have an expression that in healthcare, you can have, you can have months of uh, change that actually occur over a decade. And then all of a sudden, you have this kind of event, and it could be Amazon, and it could be just factors called a lesson, where decades of change are being positioned to occur in a very short period of time. I think if I were looking at this as an outsider, I would say I would start building models to try to work with the primary care physicians and the specialists in those communities, and I'd have three or four different models that I worked on over a 12 to 18-month uh, period, and then I would take the best opportunities there and begin to replicate and, and scale those up.